Yeah, you're listening to Eastside Radio 89.7 FM. We're going to talk about uh, beach safety and with Andre Slade from Ocean Fit. Today we're going to talk about uh, beach weather conditions because uh, yeah, weather can be a bit tricky. Like sometimes we think the weather is good, sometimes the weather is not so good. Sometimes people really like the weather is not so good because then the uh, waves are higher. Uh, when is it safe to actually go to the beach when it comes to weather? I mean, with the weather, it's always uh, obviously great to be here. <laughs> Managed to get away from the beach. <laughs> um, the, you know, weather conditions are, are different depending on on your level of confidence um, and your ability. Um, and who you might be taking there. So, if you're a, if you're really confident, and you're happy in, in big surf and things like that, then you're not going to be too worried about the conditions that often. If you're a um, a parent and you're taking your young children there, then you're going to have um, different conditions are going to uh, be of interest to you. But um, it's really just about staying within your limits. So, and that's what that's all about um, is you know knowing the conditions that you can handle, that you're comfortable in, um, and that that you can um, enjoy. So, you know, before you go to the beach, there's a lot of things you can do. You can keep an eye on the weather. Um, you can see whether, you know, even just knowing that it's going to be really sunny will mean that you're going to pack a bit more sunscreen and maybe a sun shelter. Um, if you know, if you're checking um, the websites um, out there and there's a big swell predicted or there's warnings, you know, when they start talking about there's a one metre, two metre, three metre swell or, you know, they start, you, you can get pretty technical and surfers will um, dive, dive straight down into all the real technical things about about conditions. They'll talk about wave periods and wave heights and, and all sorts of things like that. Um, and, but all you really want to know is, hey, is it, is it sunny and is it is it calm? You know, that, that, that's that's the the average the average swimmer out there um so and you can check all that on the weather whether you want to check it in the newspapers um on the internet on your iphone or ipad um check out those a couple of really good websites to check out for that uh surf life saving has a, um, a really good one called beachsafe.org.au um, and you can check your uh, beach location you can check the beaches close to you or search for any any beach and it'll tell you um, what the conditions are like there and really importantly it'll tell you whether there's lifeguards available um, and on patrol so that's always very important and you can check some other websites um, like my own uh, oceanfoot.com.au we have um, some weather on there and, and some things like uh, water, water quality and um, mm. and wave height and all those types of things so that's uh, that's a really good way to actually figure that out uh, just whether that you what is the weather that you can't actually go into the water I guess like um, if it's, it's there, if there's thunder outside, and you probably shouldn't go in the water. Yeah, and, I mean, and you can see that on on beaches like Bondi during the summer when you, it's nice and sunny all day, and then you know it's creeping into the afternoon. You can see the big um, black clouds rolling in, and all of a sudden everyone's escaping. You've got thirty thousand people trying to get on public transport, and it's definitely not nice to be out there. And you know that's going to bring other other conditions. Um, you know the water's going to get a lot choppier. Um, the swell's going to start getting a lot higher, and we start as soon as you start getting bigger waves, you start getting um, more powerful rip currents, and because there's more water moving around, and all those sorts of things. So, you know, it, it all has a, a flow-on effect. Um, but then there's other things with um, with weather and conditions as well. Like if we talk about an onshore wind, um, when the w- uh, wind's blowing onto shore, uh, we might see more likelihood of things like stingers and blue bottles and things like that because they um, are pushed around by the winds. And if the winds are blowing onshore, then we're more likely to get those around so um, if we've had rain the day before um, a lot of our um, systems here for dealing with um, the overflow from the roads and the water um, head straight into our beaches um, and waterways so that means the quality of the water is not so good Mm -hmm. so you know whether it's the actual if it's thunderstorms today well we're not going to swim but then uh, it may also mean that we don't swim tomorrow either because the water's not too nice and you know you might yeah. and a tip that you said if if the weather is going to be not so good in the afternoon and you're all at Bondi then you might just be stuck in traffic for a few hours so maybe that uh, is, is a really good one as well to actually uh, uh, the take on board well thank you so much uh, Andre Slade from uh, from Ocean Fit uh, for that uh, we'll speak to you uh, next week and um, well have, a, have everyone have a good week at the beach I'm off to the beach <laughs>